hello guys welcome back to another episode in android application development tutorial series so in this episode here i am going to show you how to setting logical parent for an activity so if there are number of activities are available in an android application the user has to click the back button again and again to reach the home activity for example, here I am going to use the same example that we used in the last video. So in our hello world application on the main activity, uh, we have an edit text. So you can put some message here. And if the user click the send message button, uh, here we open another activity and we display the message here. So in this application, we have two activity, the main activity and another activity. So here, if the user wants to, wants to go back to the main activity, the user needs to click the buy button. Suppose if there are number of activities are present in an application, in such case, the user needs to click the buy button again and again to go back to the main activity. So that is affect the overall user experience of your application. So if there are number of activities are present, the only solution for this problem is you can specify logical parent for each activity. So if you if you specify logical parent for each activity, the user can directly move to the main activity instead of clicking the bike button again and again. So here in this application here we already have two activity the main activity and a message activity so here i'm going to create one more activity so right click the application application folder and select a new activity select an empty activity so here i name the activity as final activity so here is the layout name activity final and click finish so here Android Studio create the new activity. Here is the Java class. Uh, here is the layout for the newly created activity. So now here I'm going to add some text view to identify this activity. So first uh, select the design surface and change that one into blueprint. And now here I'm going to place a text view. So select text and drag a text view and drop it inside the layout. Uh, now we can specify the constraints for the text view uh, specify a constraint at left side specify constraint at the right side uh, specify constraint at the top so here i'm going to change the margin at the top uh, now change the width of this layout into match constraint uh, now select the text view uh, align the text at the center and uh, now make it bold okay also here i'm going to change the text size into 24 sp and uh, now we can display some message on this text view so we need to add a new string resource so open values folder open strings.xml add a new string resource so open editor add a new string resource uh, final activity message uh, specify default value for the text view uh, welcome to final activity and uh, now we can set this resource on the layout file so go back to activity final.xml uh, select the text view again <clears throat> uh, here we can change the text on the text view here it is final activity welcome to final activity okay here we change the message into welcome to final activity now change now we can check the design change that one into design okay uh, so now i'm going to place a button on the second activity so here i'm going to close all these files close all 
now select project <coughs> uh, now here I am going to open the message activity that is the second activity uh, now open the layout for the message activity activity message so here I am going to place a button into this layout so again open blueprint and uh, now here I am going to place a button <coughs> so drag a button drop it inside the layout uh, now we can specify the constraint for the button okay now change the margin at the top side into 32 dp and uh, now we can change the text on the button so for that here I'm going to add one more text attribute one, one more text is resource uh, so open strings.xml open editor add a new string resource add a, first we have to specify key for the button uh, here I'm going to specify the key as final activity button and now specify the default value open final final activity <coughs> okay uh, now go back to the uh, layout file uh, now we can specify the text on the button so select the button uh, now change the resource for the text uh, here it is final activity button open final activity okay now we can check the design uh, now we can specify an on click method for the button so select that button now find out the on click method here it is I specify the method as open final activity okay so now here Android studio shows some error because we have to define that method inside the activity class <clears throat> so go back to the XML version so here is the on click method for the button here Android studio shows some error because this method is not available on the activity class so you can define this method in activity class so there is an easy method so click the method uh, press alt enter in your keyboard now you can select this option create that method in message activity so now Android studio automatically add the method for us now from this method here I am going to start the newly created activity so here I am going to start the new activity in a single statement so call the method start activity so <coughs> this method need one parameter is an indent object so for this indent constructor it need two parameter first one is a context second one is the name of the target activity class name so here the target activity class name is final activity dot class so like this you can start a new activity in a single statement okay uh, now the project is ready now we can test our project so now the virtual device is ready now here I'm going to test the application on this virtual device okay now we can run the application click the run button uh, select the virtual device now here the application available on this virtual device here first here I'm going to enter some message and click the send message button so here we reach the second activity now here I am going to open the third activity so this is the final activity so if the user wants to go back to the launcher activity that means the main activity here the user need to click the back button two times <clears throat> so if the number of activity increase the user need to uh, press the back button again and again to reach the main activity so that is not a good thing so we have to add some shortcut for the user to directly go back to the home activity so you, you can easily make that one by simply uh, specify some logical parent for each activity in your application so open manifest file open android manifest.xml so here we have a three activity so this is the application element 
so in the application element we have three activity so this is the main activity that is the launcher activity uh, this is our second activity and this is the third activity so here <coughs> main activity is the launcher activity that means the main activity is the logical parent for these two activities so here i'm going to specify the logical parent inside the activity tag so you need to specify some attribute called the parent activity name into main activity so now i'm going to do the same thing for the <coughs> last activity okay so if your application support api level 15 or lower then you need to specify some metadata to specify the logical parent uh, this is only for api level 15 and lower version <coughs> so now i'm going to specify the same thing for the second activity also okay now we can test our application again okay now the application available on this virtual device uh, type some message now go to the second activity <clears throat> so here uh, on the application bar here uh, you can see an app navigation button is present so if you specify a logical parent for an activity the android system will automatically place an app navigation button on the application bar so the user can directly move it to the main activity so now here i am going to go to the uh, third activity now here i am i am inside the third activity now i want to go to the home page the launcher activity so i can simply go back to the home activity by clicking the up button on the application bar now try to enter some message now here is the second activity now instead of click the back button i can directly move it to the launcher activity or main activity so this is how we specify the logical parent for activity in your android application i hope you understand all these concepts for getting more Android tutorial updates, please subscribe to this channel now. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.